Good morning, good morning. Sorry we're late getting in this morning. Hey, Lisa. Bless you and good morning to you. Gloria Green, good morning. Overslept. I was riding with over, I mean, uh, Pastor uh, Apostle Nix. I was riding with him this morning as he was coming into North Carolina. And so I must have overslept. Bless you and good morning to you. Bless you, Linda. How's your sister doing? sister doing Linda good morning good morning Rita sure did hey Gloria bless you good morning to you Deborah bless you bless you and good morning amen God is good Bless you. Good morning to you, Mother Francine. Okay, sending out the hounds. <laughs> hey, Elder Hawks. Bless you, sir. In a pull em. Good morning to you. Good morning, Pharrell. God is good. Friday to you. Today is a long day. I got a call that um, one of my family members bought me a grill for a housewarming. Housewarmings are still coming in, y'all. If y'all wanna, y'all wanna send it. Uh, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm, I am grateful to God. Uh, got me a grill. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, bless you. Good morning to you, Alfreda. Good morning, uh, Deborah, Tapina. Burl Walker, thank you for being our alarm clock today, you and Harriet Carter. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, as you're coming in, you wouldn't mind sharing and greeting one another. Let me see, where are my glasses? Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. Alfreda, you should have. Today, I, I, I forgot what today was. I thought it was my one of my days off. And I overslept. I, I had to ask when they called me, I said, what is today? Lord Jesus. I'm getting closer to becoming a senior every day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise report. After many tears and much prayers, God turned everything around. I took her out of the private hospital and took her where she had um, the 
county health insurance and God worked out, worked things out. She went to rehab yesterday and will be there for two weeks. Then she will be moving to Virginia with her, her daughter. God definitely is a way maker. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for you, Linda, being um, the sister that you are and um, being so determined to uh, get your sister out of there. Amen. And so we are we are just grateful. God, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, for uh, Linda and for her being able to work things out through your grace for her sister, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. We prayed and we believed you and we added our faith uh, with Linda's faith, Lord God. And so, God, we pray for her sister to have a uh, speedy recovery, Lord God, and that she would um, just be restored in every way. I know it, it, it's, it's hard sometimes even living with your children, but God, let that transition be smooth for her. And we honor you right now. Thank you, Lord God, again for Linda, for her diligence and for her tenacity and for her, her fortitude, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. On behalf of her sister, Father, in Jesus' name, have your way in her life. God, we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayer. Glory to God. In the fullness of your power, in the power of your name, excuse me, ah. hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, come on, somebody, good morning, bunny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's a good God, isn't he? He's a mighty God. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? For those that don't know him, taste and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed those that trust in him hallelujah to god be the glory hey rob what's up my man good morning to you I apologize again amen for um uh, being a little late a lot of late let me tell you mother francine's book if you two minutes late you too late you late, late is late. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mother Francine is going to be in, um, in ministry with her brothers and sisters in Pakistan on tomorrow. So she's going to be ministering tomorrow in Pakistan. Glory to God. Bless you, bunny. Come on, if he's your strength this morning, strength like none other. Hallelujah. Thank God for new mercies, amen, for new grace, for new opportunity for God to show himself strong on our behalf. 
We are grateful. They start early in the morning, Jesus. Good morning to you. Um, amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning uh, to you. Um, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Definitely, um, Father, uh, keep for real uh, as we join with her and add our faith with her faith this morning. Lord God, that you will uh, just be in this procedure this morning. God, we, we, we commit everything about it to you. And we want you, God, to, to, to be glorified and that you would be magnified through this situation, whatever this procedure is. Lord, have your way in Jesus' name. Loose your healing virtue over um, Pharrell. And, and we just thank you for the doctors. The wisdom that they have comes from you. Give them a download, Lord. Father, don't let there be any oops or any type of, of mishaps, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank God for um, Rita's um, Rita's uh, daughter and uh, her granddaughter only have mild COVID, mild form of COVID. And we thank God for them. And, and um, man, um, this, this, this COVID, when it hits, you don't know um, how it's going to, what type of symptoms you'll have. You know, some are just worse than others. Uh, but we are grateful, God, that you um, continue to touch um Rita's uh, daughter and her granddaughter and we we asked that you would heal them this morning completely of this COVID and others that are dealing with COVID this morning Father you know all the names Father we pray especially those that are connected to people that are under the sound of our voice right now Lord we add our faith and we trust and believe you Lord God to heal and deliver those that have COVID this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That, that just kind of brings me to a um, another thought. It reaches to me. It brings me to another thought. Amen. I was talking about it earlier. God, you know our, our, our situation. Amen. So we're we're preaching to the choir here. And um, we just thank God for um, his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me do this, beloved. Um, give me one second. Let me let me grab my glasses over here. Thank you. One sec. I think they're over here.
downstairs and we're not going down there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man, I pulled everything out looking for a, a, um, a coupon that I had from from uh, I have a coupon from office Home Depot. I have a coupon from Home Depot and everything that, that I'm going to need for my new grill. I wanted this coupon and I tore up some stuff trying to find this coupon. It's been it's been laying in this one spot the whole time. And I think my daughter moved it. Uh, yeah, I can blame her because she ain't here to deny it. And um, I wanted this coupon because I like saving money. Amen. And so um, I wanted to, um, I need to go and um, ah, let's do this. Father, again, we thank you. I apologize, Lord, um, as we stand before your people, Lord, for being late. I don't like it. Um, I, I ask God for your grace and your mercy this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus. And, and, and um, Lord, we want you, Lord God, to speak to us today. God, give us a word from you. Give us ears to hear what you want to say. Give us, Lord God, uh, a heart to receive, Lord, the word of the Lord. And Father, that you will also help us, Lord God, to be an example of whatever we are sharing this morning. In the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit. Have your way, Father God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I like Ikea. Amen. Some of this stuff, man, that um, it's just so many little things that you need with the, with this uh, new a house it's a it's a good problem it's a good problem and um i am so impatient <laughs> i you know i some things you just have to wait until the next month and i am just i i i had i had some folk on the line yesterday i got folk in new jersey y'all who um um who pick out uh, stuff because y'all don't think I I know uh, about how something looks good. I got I got I got uh, folk on who um, have helped me um, just pick out different things and and I'll send them a snapshot or if I I've had my cousin on Facetime. She's been um, saying, move that there and this, that, and the other. Amen. And I appreciate all of it. Amen. Thank God for, um, again, everyone who has sent anything or a prayer or anything towards this um, good problem. <laughs> this good trouble. That's what uh, I, there's a, there's a, um, it's 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 not bad trouble it's good trouble amen and um i just need to be patient and take my time to do what we're gonna do i believe amen i'm gonna start out with a scripture hallelujah Amen. Amen. Oh, on um, for those that are in New Jersey in the Windsor area, uh, Dwayne Jennings, Dwayne Jennings, uh, those that are in the New Jersey, Delaware, Philadelphia area. 
uh, Baltimore, I guess, um, if you feel like driving up to Jersey, uh, Dwayne Jennings is doing a worship encounter. And it is going to be uh, two, two of my favorite worshipers in the entire world. Uh, one is Apostle Nix, and the other is Dwayne Jennings. Dwayne Jennings. Dwayne Jennings um, has come on our broadcast plenty of times and um, just ministered. He and his wife are starting a work, uh, Fresh, fresh uh, Fire Ministries. And they're going to be, in, I posted it on my Facebook. They're going to be in New Jersey. If you're looking for, uh, it's a place where worshipers gather. Amen. And uh, I think East Windsor is like near Princeton in that area. But if any of you want to, all of those in New Jersey, in that Jersey area, want to um, get a good, um, good, uh, powerful worship encounter. I know that uh, Dwayne Jennings is going to uh, do a great job, amen, for the Lord. And 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 so, um, hallelujah. If you tell him we sent you, you get a discount. But if you don't tell him, you still get the discount. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Alfreda said, I'm ready to do another class on the courts of heaven, reading book, friend, and judge. So excited. Amen. You are. Amen. Thank God for his grace. What I wanted to say. Let me read my scripture. Get so, you know, when you get tired, you get sidetracked. I got some fools out there, Lord Jesus. No disrespect. You know who you are. I ain't talking to you, but you who you are. Amen. The scripture is. Um, Hallelujah. Y'all, the, the enemy is trying to use some of these crazy people out here to distract me. But I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yes, I do. You will not distract me today. Tell the devil, stop it. Amen. All right. Third John, third John, chapter, um, th chapter two, I mean, verse two, I'm sorry. Third John, verse two. Add it up and I, there you go. Chapter one, verse two. Don't have glasses on, but I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. I wish above all things that thou may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul 
thy soul prospereth. Man, that is such a good word for us. See, most cases with the saints, we prosper spiritually. We know how to pray. We know how to speak in tongues. Amen. We know how to live like Christians for the most part. We're not running around sinning. We love God. Amen. We are champions in the spirit. We are victorious in the spirit. One of the things I don't think we realize is that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And so in his doing that, he knows that we also are triune beings. We are created in the image of God. While God is God the Father, amen. God the Son and God the Spirit. Amen. We too have body, soul, and spirit. Every aspect of us is all interconnected. Amen. Are you following me so far? We're created in the image of God. We are... Um, um, God, in the beginning, when the world was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, God spoke. Amen. He spoke and his, his, his speech was mixed with power and is mixed with faith. And he said, let there be. Let there be light and let there be a man. And, and, and so then he said, let me create man in my image. We weren't created exactly like God, but the concept of who we are was made like God. We were created as triune beings. We were created to reflect his glory. We were created, amen, to, to be a reflection of God in heaven in the earth, in us, he put a light. In us, he put his spirit. In us, he put his fingerprint on us in the same way that any other parent would put their fingerprint on or their identity or their DNA in uh, our children. Beloved, we have the DNA of God. Hallelujah. We're created in his image. The Bible says, listen, as a man thinketh and, 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 and so is he. But we're also what you say. Your confession. Sometimes, boy, we say, oh, my God, that person makes me sick. That person, I can't stand them. That person, they make me sick. Well, guess what? You are speaking curses over yourself. And can I tell you that life, or the Bible says death and life are in the power of your tongue. You can speak life or you can speak death. Sometimes we pronounce death on ourselves because we think we can say it over somebody else. And we don't realize that those words are like boomerangs. So whatever you say over somebody else, you're the rubber. No, you're the glue. They're the rubber. Whatever you say to them will bounce off of them and stick to you. How many remember that as a kid? Hallelujah. Thank you for that, Anna. So God has created us after his image 
and after his 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 likeness. And so many of us, I believe, beloved, present company included, what we do is that we are very spiritual, but we negate the other two parts of us. We don't take as good a care as, 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 as we do in the spirit. We know things like don't drink and don't cuss. Amen. But I'm, I'm telling you, beloved, there's so much more. There's so much more to who God is for us and to us. God doesn't want us to always need a healing. He wants us to walk in divine health. He wants us to be completely whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So the Bible says, if your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, then you need to glorify God in your body, which belongs to God. Hallelujah. We are not our own. We've been bought with a price. And so we need to treat this body like it belongs to someone else other than us, that we're, we got it on loan and we're trying to take care of it. Hallelujah. You ever borrow something from somebody and then you don't treat it right and you run it down? I don't, I know things get old and, and they age. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, uh, and, 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 and again, I'm talking to Daryl this morning, but why are we as the saints of God, why are we the most unhealthiest people on the planet? Sometimes it ain't everybody, but it's a good portion of us. Amen. And God, we represent God. We are his example in the earth. And I'm saying, beloved, we may be already to a place where our bodies are what they are because we have reaped what we've sown throughout the, the and everything is not it. But I'm telling you, some of the unhealthy things that we've done cause other things to happen in our bodies. And so God wants us to be um, whole. He wants us to be whole spirit, soul, and body. That means that he wants us to live our best life as Christians. We need to start treating this temple better. We need to start getting in the bed, Daryl. Ouch. Why are you talking about Daryl getting in the bed? Because sometimes he has a problem sleeping. Amen. And God designed us to sleep eight hours at least six to eight hours. That's when our body regenerates itself. That's when our body kind of replenishes itself. And if it never gets an opportunity to replenish itself, then what will happen is that it, um, it will start breaking down. It'll get older quicker. Amen. If our bodies don't have time to reset itself, it's going to start breaking down. It's going to get old quick. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is concerned about our health. So we got to stop doing things or sowing things into our body that when, so what we do is we'll, we'll, we'll forget about our body. We think we're saved. We can do anything. God will heal us. But if, if we are sowing, the Bible said, whatever you sow in the flesh, you're going to reap it. And, 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 and Alfreda is teaching uh, on the book of the courts of heaven. And one of the things when you step before God in the court, 
of heaven and you're asking God to heal you. But he's saying, listen, you've been doing this, this, and this, which is contributing to it. So God can heal us. But if we're doing the same things that contributed to us having bad health in the first place, some of us, we're not doing things, but we're ignoring our bodies. Our bodies are telling us, go to sleep. Our bodies are telling us, you got a toothache or you got a something ache, but you don't want to go to the doctor. Ouch. I'm standing on my own toes here this morning. And God has, 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 he, he wants to heal us. But then the other thing is that it's not the doctor's responsibility. Can I tell y'all that sometimes doctors, they, they're not sometimes, doctors practice medicine and they give you uh, medicines because that's a part of their practice unless they're a holistic doctor and they just treat symptoms. God treats the source. And, and, and so sometimes because there's some things like vitamin deficiencies or uh, greens and vegetable deficiencies, amen, I believe that most of these things that we deal with, like our blood pressure and diabetes and all these other things can be averted and, and, and reduced just through proper preventive care. He said, if you lack wisdom, if you lack wisdom, if you lack wisdom about your health, see, it ain't just about the Bible. Lord, help me. If you need wisdom in any area, he said, ask me and I'll give it to you liberally. Hallelujah. We got to start doing holistic Christianity. The Bible says that um, bodily exercise profits little, but it does profit. Our, our, our exercising, if we were to exercise every day, it's not going to prevent us from getting older, but it will slow down the process. If we can just get up and get out and not allow our bodies to call the shots. See, you got to talk to your body. I know you don't feel like doing it. Jesus didn't feel like going to Calvary. But he said, nevertheless, not my will. The, the Bible says that we got to die daily. Amen. And this, this body is not our friend all the time. And so you got to tell your body, oh, you're going to exercise today. Or you gonna do something today? But to do nothing is like you're ignoring it. You ever have teeth and they and ignore them? Guess what happens? They go away. They fall out. And if you're ignoring your health this morning, if you got headaches and you're ignoring them or you got stomach aches and you're ignoring them, or back aches or feet, foot aches or uh, leg aches. All of those things are your body, nose bleeds. Your body is saying, hello, something's wrong. I need you to go to get it checked out. God has come. Oh Lord, I've run out of time. God wants us to be, he wants us to be whole. What does it mean to be whole? Not just your spirit side that loves the Lord and that's praise in the spirit and that prays and goes to church. God wants us to be whole in our health. He wants us to be whole even when you got something going on in your body. 
like diabetes. There's a way to live healthy with diabetes. There's a way to live healthy and to eat healthy. And, 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 and so the Bible said, whatever you do to your body, you sin against your own body. But what's also connected because we're, we're interconnected. We are everything in us. He wants us. Oh my God. That scripture in, in, in first John, I mean, third John chapter one, verse two, he said, I wish that you would prosper and be in health on the same level as your soul prospers. I don't want your soul to prosper up here and then your body and your health and your mental health is down here. God is concerned about our finances. God, give us your wisdom for finance. It is not your will. You became a poor so that we don't have to be poor. God, give us wisdom for finances. I'm going to be talking about this more. But what's also interconnected is our mental health. You ever get so stressed that you stress eat? I have put on, I'm sure, just stressing about my bills and, 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 and stressing about this house and stressing about my grands. I have put on at least 10 pounds in a month. I took it off because I had started eating different starting in January. I, I needed my protein levels to get up. So I added some things back in, but all the sweets and everything else that I went, I've been going crazy on. And so everything is interconnected. Everything is interconnected. And can I tell you this? Thank you, Holy Spirit. When they do, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get back in the profession that I was in in selling insurance. But one of the questions that they ask is, how did your mother or father, are they still alive? Do they have any sickness? Do they have heart disease? Do they have diabetes? Have they ever had uh, cancer? Have they ever had kidney failure? I mean, they start asking questions because they realize that some of these things can be passed down through the generations. The mortality that they use to um, determine insurance is based on your lineage. That means that if your mother or father suffered from some things, they're looking for someone in the lineage to eventually get them. Why are we waiting for sickness to come and hit us when we already have some answers? Well, God, help us to eat a diet that doesn't feed cancer. Help us, Lord, to change. You know, what, what do I mean? To alkaline your body. Sometimes if you got uh, people with, with um, um, in your genetics, you got a lot of folk who've had uh, cancer. Well, one of the things they found out is that uh, alkaline water will help your body because some some people um, are likely to catch disease, not just cancer, because our bodies don't have the have to have the things in them to fight against it. The the um, things to help build our immune system. And it's different for everybody. You got to find out what, what's attacking your family lineage. Hallelujah. What is the enemy using to take out your family? What tactic, what disease do you have to protect yourself against? And prove the enemy wrong. If 
you got folk in your family that have cancer. My dad died of cancer. That means that we probably need to be building our immune system up and 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 also speaking to our immune system let there be health let there be no heart issues i got to do a procedure next week where they put dye into your body and they're going to have to they're looking at my heart but it's just interesting how the enemy would try to use the things that maybe your mother or your father may have had to try to come that way into and, and attack your body. See, he don't care how much you speak in tongues. If he can cut your speaking in tongues off through your health. And, 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 and again, we're going to talk about it today. We're talking about the body. And I'm going to probably spend some more time talking about the body, but I'm also going to talk about our mental health and how they're connected. Because when, when my body shut down, I went to a holistic doctor and guess what he said? He said, your thoughts are killing you. You are so depressed from your uh, divorce and separation from your wife that you are allowing your body to shut it down. He said, if you don't get your life, your thoughts in line, you're going to be dead in five years. And thank God it's been beyond five years because we had to change our thoughts about our situation. See, your perspective on your situation, if you're always going around telling folk you sick, you sick, you sick, you sick. Amen. Guess what you have? You sick. It gives the enemy permission to hold on to your, your sickness, to your body. Pray for me, saints. I'm so sick, 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 sick. I'm sick, 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 sick. Not that you can't tell them that you're not feeling well, but you got to counteract it with the word of God. I'm trusting God to heal my body. I'm in the process of being healed. Do you see how that's a different spin on the same thing? My body's being challenged right now. I'm in the process of my healing. God is healing me as we speak. We are created in the image of God. And we got to watch what we say even over ourselves. And let me tell you something, beloved. Oh man, it's gonna, this is gonna be really a, a, a series. It's not gonna be a one and done. You know, sometimes we do a one and done. I'm gonna start, cause I'm talking to Daryl. Daryl needs it, y'all. Daryl, I'm telling you, Daryl, Daryl, call it, what do you call me? A bucket, whatever you wanna call me, Darnell. He needs this word this morning. I got to encourage myself in the Lord. Y'all just uh, are bystanders. It might apply to some of you, but this morning it's a personal word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach this until it gets down in our bones. I'm going to teach this. I'm just going to teach it. And I believe it with everything that's in me. When we start teaching holistic Christianity, some folk are going to need to go to get some therapy. Some people are going to need to get therapy because you don't have the wisdom to be able to process through everything that you've been through on your own. When there's a traumatic situation, we need to get it resolve within us and not suppress it. And I've, I've been that person who has been suppressing, amen, all the negative that's happened. I haven't dealt with it, but I pushed it under the water like a beach ball and it comes back up into my health. It comes back up like a, like a beach ball would 
when you try to hold it under water and the moment that you move a little bit it's it comes back up and 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 you don't know what way it's going to show itself god doesn't want us to bury our emotions in our subconscious because when you bury them it's like a seed in the ground, I'm telling you, beloved, we're we're so simplistic. God created us from the earth and whatever seeds that are sown in us, like the earth, will grow. And sometimes you don't see it on the surface. It, it, it gets roots in it. He said the root of bitterness. Hallelujah. We're created from the earth and God told Adam after he sinned that you're going to have to till the ground. You're going to have to till the soil. You're going to have to you're going to have to till it. Some of us have buried things for so long and then when you get married they start sprouting up some some of the things that you have been dealing with your whole life but you've been burying it. And now once you get into a marriage, those things start sprouting up. Those weeds. The Bible says to break up the fallow ground. Hey, Tyrone, love you, man. What is it that the enemy... What, what, whoa, whoa, thank you, Lord. I'm I'm done because I want you guys to get to see Mother Mother Francine. And I apologize for being late, but this is gonna be our topic. And and I'm and people that I'm bringing in, I'm bringing in to talk about holistic Christianity. I want God to heal us, spirit, soul, and body. Abba Shando, let me tell you something. He told Adam, you're gonna have to till the ground. That means that you're going to have to dig up your weeds. You're going to have to work on this soil and you're going to have to sow things in it. That are life. Start sowing into your spirit, soul and body. If you need a financial breakthrough, first of all, we need to follow what the word says. Everything is about seed and, 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 and harvest. Seed time and harvest. Seed time and harvest. I'm talking about everything, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We want to be blessed, but we don't want to be a blessing. We want, we want, we want to be loved and and or or we want friends. And the Bible says if you want friends, you must first show yourself friendly. We want to be financially blessed. But we got our hands closed tight. I ain't giving that person none of my money. They got there. They better. But how are you going to be blessed if you don't sell? Some of us, the ground or the soil is so tight that we won't forgive ourselves. And if you can't forgive yourself, you will struggle with forgiving someone else. You're one of those persons that gets flashbacks of all the nasty and all the mean things that you have done over the years and the enemy will try to get you to walk in guilt and condemnation, which is not God's speed. God wants us to be convicted that leads to repentance that leads to change hallelujah and but if the enemy is constantly um, um a, he's the accuser of the brethren and if he's constantly picking on you and then you're saying i'm a horrible person and this that and the other and you haven't forgiven yourself then you're going to struggle with forgiving someone else 
It's going to make the ground hard in your heart. God wants us to break up the fallow ground. He wants us to break up the fallow ground. So righteousness. Hallelujah. Pull up the weeds. Pull up those trees that have been erected over the years because somebody in your family. See, it wasn't that husband. It was deeper than that. Some of this stuff, y'all, we blame it on our spouses. And those things happen when you were a child between you and your parent in your formidable years. Some of the unforgiveness practices and some of the things that we do were, were done to us. And we wonder why. The Bible said some, because they hadn't discerned the body, they fall sick. We wonder why we feel schizophrenic. We wonder why we feel that we are, uh, and, and again, this is Daryl, bipolar. We feel, the, the Bible says in, 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 in um, uh, Romans 7, Paul said, the good that I would, every time I would do good, evil is always present. Who's going to deliver me? I'm in this quandary. I'm in this fight because of sin. There's two laws that are living in me. There's the law of the spirit to love, to worship, to, to, to adore God. Amen. And then there's another law that's within me. That's constantly pulling me the other direction. There's another law that's inside my members. That makes me want to cuss somebody out. There's another law in my members. So there's a law in me that loves to worship and, and pray in the spirit. But there's another law. I see him when I'm driving. Somebody cuts me off. It's another tongue that wants to come up and out. God said, listen, no more condemnation to them that are in Christ who don't walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. Can I tell y'all that we are spirit beings first? Our bodies and our souls and our finances should align with our spirit and not our spirit align with our flesh or our spirit align with our mental thoughts. Sometimes people say uh, uh, body, soul, and spirit, but it's spirit, soul, and body. Because wherever your spirit is following, the part of us that's connected to God, if your soul, your mind, your intellect is in the spirit, then your body's got to follow. Hallelujah. This is going to be our series that we're going to be dealing with. Whole Christianity. Whole Christianity. I'm telling you, I'm hoping that and 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 and, and Dr. Kim comes on in the first Sunday. She's giving us some nuggets, man, about preventive care during this pandemic. Even if you decide you don't want to take that vaccine, that's your choice and privilege but it would behoove you to start preventive care like multivitamins and 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 zinc and vitamin d and vitamin c 
Amen. And what else? It was it's another one. Um, D, zinc, um, C, D. Because we're deficient. We don't get what we used to got. There's pollution in the air. There's toxins, toxins in the air a lot of times. And so the vegetables that we used to get that our parents got, our grandparents did, that caused them to live longer. We don't have it anymore. And so we have to take supplements. We got to take supplements to build up our immune system. So if you're not going to get the vaccine, surely take some supplements to protect your immune system, to build the forces of your immune system. Mother Francine will tell you that you're, most of us, if we have insurances, our insurances will pay for it. Hallelujah. Man, that's a whole nother story. We're going to deal with it. You're, 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 we're stewards of our own health and we put it off on our doctors. Help us, Holy Spirit. We're waiting for our doctors to tell us, well, you better get some exercise in or you're going to die sooner. We're all going to die at some point. Amen. But wouldn't it be great to just uh, uh, delay it somewhat because we're taking proper care of our health? And wherever you find yourself right now, no need to say, man, I'm, it's too late. I done messed it up. No, no, no. Start from here. Start from here. God, give us wisdom to start where we are, not wishing that we were 10 years younger, but God, right where we are. Hallelujah. Teach us, Lord God, how to eat better. You don't like it when the doctor says that we are overweight or obese. God, you don't like it when the doctor says that we have been eating wrong and our heart is 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 got plaque on it and and um uh, plaque build up and 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 high cholesterol that's not your will for your people lord hallelujah god i pray that you will cause us to be more aware if our bodies and we're having migraines all the time it's because of something some of us Lord, are having allergic reactions to this thing, but we want the thing more than we want health. We want that shrimp or whatever it is that's that we're allergic to more than we want health, divine health. God, bring conviction that leads to repentance. Every time we take something and you, you, you break out in hives, you're probably allergic to it. I'm saying anything, chocolate, things that you love, things that your body craves. There's all kinds of supplements that you can use that are healthier. But we got to get the discipline. Some of us, because we're still alive, we still do what we want to do. Amen. And we better, if you want to, Fulfill your soul prospering, your health prospering, your finances prospering. Amen. They should be moving up together. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prospers. The question this morning is, where are you? Where are you? Where are you in your health? Where are you in your body? What are you contributing to your, your own health? Are you taking supplements and vitamin supplements? Are you exercising? If we're not doing these things, don't get mad when God, our body expires before our assignment. Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. 
Don't be upset when our bodies expire before our assignments are done. Amen. Be complex. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Help us this morning. We had sick parents who died premature. God, we got to learn from these lessons. Some of these things like Alzheimer's and a lot of those things are a result of old age, but some things can be prevented if we have the right supplements in our bodies. And it's, it's not the doctor's responsibility when it comes to your health. It's your responsibility. It's like sending your kids to school and expecting it to be all the teacher's responsibility. But the reality is, beloved, it's your responsibility. When it comes to our kids, it's our responsibility first. Hallelujah. We'll talk more about it. Amen. Love you guys. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, we got to do better. I got to do better. Hallelujah. We're going to do this together, y'all. We're going to do this together. I want us to all be healthy. It's not enough for one person to be healthy and we all not be healthy. Please hang out with us. Amen. Throughout these months, because we got it. It's going to take it took us years, took us years to get this way. It's going to take us some years to get out of this way. Amen. People are living until 100 years old. And sharp as ever, Mother Hobbs uh, is eighty nine, and 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 uh, just looks wonderful. Hey, Thomas, good to see you, man. Grace and peace. Bless you, Constance. Hope this has blessed you this morning. It's blessing me. But y'all hearing Daryl talk to Daryl this morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Bless you guys. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, 